My name is Lovestar, welcome back to my fairy core let's play. Today is episode 27 and I am doing another webcam. So it seems like you guys liked the last one, so I wanted to do another one because actually it's pretty fun to do a webcam or a face cam. I, I don't know why I'm saying webcam, it's a face cam. Anyway, whatever. So today I am going to show you guys, I added a few things to our new secret lush cave or crystal cave. It does look like a lush cave though. So after I finished uh, the recording, I wanted to go back and add a few things because when I was like taking screenshots for the thumbnail, I was like, you know what, this place needs a little extra. So I went ahead and I planted basically just some leaves and the grass is now done growing for the most part. And I added some mossy cobblestone. Did I add these glowberries afterwards? No, I think I... Yeah, I already, I already had these here, and I added, I added some vines. So yeah, just a, just a few little decorations. And I love this peony bush. It's so freaking cute. So yeah, here is our crystal cave. I'm so excited to add on to it. And unfortunately, the lizards were escaping. And I, I kind of thought about it some more, and I decided that I didn't really... I didn't really want them to escape, so I put a little fence gate here, which is kind of a shame because I, I don't really want a fence gate, but you know what? We have to do what we have to do to protect our lizards, and let me see, do I have any dirt in here? How do I not have any dirt? I want to just put some dirt here, so let me just grab some real quick. But anyway, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last video with the, f with the face cam. Um, I think it's honestly... I like it because it has a little bit of visual interest to the recording, I think. Like, in my personal opinion, I love when there's, like, a face cam in the Minecraft Let's Plays because then you get to see the reactions of the person and also, like, when something is kind of a little bit boring, then you get a little bit of extra, like, visual, you know? Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you guys agree. If you don't prefer the face cam, let me know. I might do a poll, honestly. But for now, I'm just kind of trying it out, I'm testing it out, and also I fixed the audio, <laughs> hopefully. I think it's fixed. I did a lot of troubleshooting and tests before this, so I wanted to make sure that the audio was nice and crisp for you guys because last time my webcam microphone was overriding my actual microphone, so it sounded really weird. It sounded like I was in like a room, obviously I am, but it sounded echoey and like not very good. Uh, so hopefully you guys didn't mind too much. I mean, it's not like horrible. It's still like I was able to listen to it back just fine. It was just a bit annoying because I was like, oh man, like Damn it. I messed up. I messed up my recording um, But yeah, so this time it should be fixed. I, I literally jinxed it in the last video. I was like, well, hopefully we won't have any technical difficulties. I'm gonna pray and then what do you know? <laughs> Obviously, I shouldn't be surprised. When you try out new things, especially when it comes to YouTube, <laughs> I think that's just kind of a given that something does inevitably go wrong. Um, okay, so we have a bit of witchery stuff here. I'm gonna put this in my coffer. You know what? Actually, no. The coffer is for crystals. Maybe I, I, I should actually just stick to that. So I'm gonna put my witchery stuff here in our satchel for now. And also, our broom brush is running low. So how do you make a new one? I really wanted to make this moon dust brush. So um I don't know when is the next when is the next full moon? Oh look, we're actually going to have to use these uh herbs. So okay, let me check. It's definitely not a full moon. Okay. So I I want to keep a track on the moon cycles cuz I really want to get this moon moon dust brush. Um so for now, I- okay, I'm gonna put my witch's hat in here too. Actually, you know what? I wanted to enchant it and I totally forgot about that last episode. So let's go over to our tower <clears throat> and let's enchant our broom. I mean, not our broom. What am I- the, the witch's hat. Let's enchant the witch's hat and um, I- I was- st I'm still kind of working on my sword. You know, last time I kind of didn't get too lucky, honestly. I've been really wanting to just get sharpness. But unfortunately, the game is not being very cooperative. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't think we'll have enough levels for too many rerolls just yet. So, we'll hold off on that for now. But, oh my gosh, guys. I love our library. Did I mention that? It's not even done. But I love the progress we made so far. And in our enchanting room, it looks so much better now. With all of this, like, s like green stuff in here. Before, it was so plain. I did not... 
I didn't like it. Okay, so- Oh, yay! We can enchant it! I was honestly kind of expecting us not to be able to. So, let's see what we can get. Aqua Infinity, I don't think I need- Oh, mad- Wait, mana regen! Hell yeah! Dude, wait. That's from- What is that enchanting from? That's probably just from, um, yeah, Ars Nouveau. But, you know what? That's kind of perfect. Our witch- Our witch gear will help us out in our mage life. Or mage- stuff <laughs> that yeah that was not very succinct succinctly said but you guys get what i'm trying to say so yeah we still are a mage we're an elf mage in this world but we do dabble in witchcraft here and there which is how i consider it to be you know we are not like a full-time witch in this series but we are a part-time witch you know you gotta make a little bit extra extra um mana on the side so that's why we dabble in witchcraft i'm totally just making stuff up at this point but guys today as I did mention last episode, I wanted to actually work on the nether base, and this is because we still need to give Dorito Hellbringer a home, so I wanted to make her live in the nether base, because obviously that just kind of makes sense, like she was born in the nether, and now she will live there and protect our base. She will be the hellbringer to anything that dares touch our nether base. So what I wanted to do was make a little tiny base in there, just something simple, nothing too grand. Um, and then, okay, unfortunately, this is not something I typically enjoy doing very much, but I really need to because I do want to get that mahogany broom, as you guys know. So I really need to go do some netherite mining. Uh, so boring. I might just cut most of it out for you guys like I usually do in my mermaid series because I don't enjoy netherite mining. I don't think it's very fun to watch because it's just loud explosions. Um, so I will try to skim past that for you guys, but I am going to have to do it. So what we should actually start doing right now, I have had quite a bit of practice um, since I did my netherite mining for my mermaid let's play. I don't want to spoil too much for you guys, but I did do that recently and more to come in the 70 days. I will definitely have to do more. So, okay, we're going to shear our sheep and we're going to do this while we're like, you know, building, preparing our base and everything. We're going to continuously come back here and Melody actually can help us with this. So, you know what I can do? I can probably just set her to go inside the sheep pen and uh, she can farm for us, probably while we're just away. So let me just put her in here. Don't escape! Okay, I don't want that. Okay, Melody, are you ready to become a shepherd? I think that's what they're called. <laughs> so we're gonna give her her own little pair of shears here. So there you go. And she's going to shear for us. So go ahead, Melody, get to work. And she will collect it, right? Uh, okay, now she will. And I'll put, I'll put her on home mode so she doesn't teleport to me because I think she can just stay here for a little bit. We're going to basically do what we did when she was collecting... She was breeding the cows for us. That's what she was doing. She was helping us with the cow breeding and that was really good because it actually worked really well. However, I do notice that the maids sometimes will get like stuck in place and they just won't like know where to go, which is kind of weird. Because I would expect them to like wander, right? And then find a new task. But for some reason the maids just kind of find themselves stuck in place after a while. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I guess if it does, it's not the end of the world. But okay, so let's see. Um, did I just shear her? Oh, oh no. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Wait, how do I? Uh oh, wait, how do I give it? <laughs> Here, okay, there you go. I was- I accidentally took off her backpack. Okay, so she's gonna have all of this, uh, space. Okay, so let's put- let's put away the stuff that she was holding. She was holding a few, like, farm supplies. So we have some flax here. Should we actually make- do we have enough for fodder, I think? We do, right? Because we need, like, hay bales and flax bales. Um... So we still have this stuff over here. I didn't organize that yet, guys. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm <laughs> so disorganized. I've been not in the mood to like sit down and organize my things. It's just so like, oh, it's so tedious. I can't stand it. Okay, so um, where am I going? I'm, I'm trying to look for my wheat. <laughs> my wheat is over here. Okay, a little bit silly. So let's get some wheat because I think we will need this for the fodder. 
It's just good to have. It's always good to have some wheat. So yeah, I do have a little idea in mind for the nether base. And it's... I, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time in the, in the nether, as you guys probably can guess, so we're not gonna do anything crazy. So, but I, what I do want to build is kind of like a little, a little tiny cottage with a green roof top. You know, like, when the roof is made out of kind of like moss? Except, it, instead of moss, I think what we can do is, um, is is the warped uh, what's nylium right like the warped grass basically so i kind of wanted i wanted to try that and hopefully it looks okay i don't really know how it's gonna turn out but uh we can give it a shot and yeah i'm just kind of doing it uh from my head so we'll see how it goes but all right let me make okay we're gonna make all of all the bales we can get here i don't want to spend all of my hay though all of my uh wheat so we're just gonna have some extra flax bales in here, and uh, okay. So also let me get some more soup from Chantarell. Thank you. Okay, and um, so I took off my firefly. Let me let me put on a, a different hat because I kind of like to change them up a little bit. It's kind of like the only uh, accessories we can really use. So how about today? What about the cat ears, guys? I am literally a cat. Even though I think these ones kind of look a little weird. And my skin already has little cat ears. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like... Those little purple things on the back of my hoodie. Those are little cat ears, if you didn't know. I made this skin myself, so I kind of wanted to <laughs> add a little bit of catness to it. Because I do love cats. Okay, so Melody, are you... Are you stuck in place, girl? There are sheep to be sheared. If you haven't already noticed. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's give them some fodder. Eat! Eat my precious... My precious sheeps. Oh, there's... This place is gonna be populated, guys. Like, holy crap, I think we might have a bit of a sheep problem. But it's okay, we will eradicate them when necessary. And, okay. So, wow, my shears are almost dead. I want to clear my inventory. At least my backpack, because... I don't even- okay, so we don't need these pickaxes. Why do I still have those? I don't even remember. Okay, we have raw potatoes? I might as well just cook those. Um, actually, hold on guys. Apparently, there's a few ovens we can make, so I kind of wanted to make an oven. I don't know if this is like supposed to be a better smoker. We also have- the like uh, fantasy furniture ovens, which are also really cool. I love the Nordic one and like the Ventir one looks really cool as well. But let's try the handcrafted oven because I'm kind of curious on whether or not it's going to be a better smoker. Like if it's going to cook our food faster. So let's go give that a shot. Um, I'm going to have to make myself a smoker because I, I don't have one. So we just need logs and a furnace i suppose oh god all those alternate <laughs> alternate crafting recipes are kind of that scared me oh my gosh i saw that thing move in the corner of my eye and i got really scared okay we're gonna put our coffer away i'm gonna actually we gotta put these tools away because i do not need these pickaxes i have extras uh okay spider eye we don't need and let's see we don't need the wood or, yeah, we don't need this mahogany either for now until we're ready to make our new broom. Which is really exciting. Oh my gosh, guys. I love how customizable they are too. That's like so much fun. Okay, so um, let me just grab some like... We'll do spruce because I have a lot. And mm, furnaces. Do I have any extras? No. Okay. I need cobblestone. We have a lot of cobblestone. Okay. I always forget how cluttered this backpack is and how many things I have in there. It's crazy. Okay, so why can't I make it? Oh, because I didn't make a freaking furnace. I'm such a stupid noob. Uh, all right. Here we go. Furnace! Or smoker, not a furnace. And we need some bricks, which we have. And I think also an iron bar. Okay, so now we have our little oven from the handcrafted mod. I'm thinking of doing a furniture mod review of some sort, so maybe I should do that. Um, okay, so let's put this over here. 
Actually, where do I even put this? My kitchen is kind of full. Maybe I can start mo- Oops, I- I didn't realize that was there. Anyway, so... Why does this say smoker? Don't tell me it's just like a smoker. It's- I mean, this is pretty fast, but I think that's honestly just what a smoker does. Let me- You know what? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a smoker. I'm gonna make myself a smoker. And we're just gonna see what the speed difference is. It's the same. So this is just a fancy smoker. I don't even like how that looks. Compared to the Mizunos texture. What the heck? I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna make a- I'm just gonna make another freaking thing. We'll make another smoker. I don't like the freaking oven. It's kind of ugly too. I thought it would actually be faster. I feel like I get scammed, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, we're just gonna put this to smell- Oh, here we go. We have one terracotta in there and then nothing in here, so we, <laughs> we need to place this back. There we go. Okay, this- that- that texture looks amazing, by the way. I love that. It looks way more sophisticated than the furnaces, which is kind of funny because they're from the same texture pack. But anyway. Okay, so let's put this freaking oven away. Actually, you know what? Mm, no, I was gonna, I was gonna say I'm gonna throw it away in the in the recycling bin, but I think I'll just save it for if I need to decorate like some other place or something. So I'm gonna put the furnace in there and that. Okay, and the bricks away. We have to like organize everything again. Ah, okay. Let's put the gold away. I don't think I need gold. Not for now. And now, uh, okay. So what were we doing? We were- were we gonna already start working on the nether thing? I kind of forgot. I forgot I was, if I was doing something else. Okay, so she- she's still shearing? She's not collecting it though. She's not collecting all the wool. I need you to collect the stuff too, girl. Okay, well, we'll let her keep doing that. So we're not gonna go netherite mining until after we build the base. So I guess for now we can actually start working on it. Um, so let's grab some materials. We're gonna need to go to the warped forest, which actually I don't know where it is because this is kind of like a new place, but we're gonna use... So I think I'm gonna use like blackstone and warped as like my main color palette. I'm gonna bring these doors with me. We have pig step. I kind of want to play pig step, but the thing is like for some reason the directional audio is kind of weird with discs uh, in my game, so I'm not going to play it because it's going to sound a little weird, um, but we can... hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll get the rest from the nether. So we're gonna have to find a new thingy thing. What's it called? <laughs> a new warp forest. I'm gonna turn this into glowstone so we can save on some inventory space and we have some food. So let's see, is our is our thing gonna last? Should I make a new brush? That means I'd have to go back to the yeah, never mind. I'm not doing all that. Okay, let's just go back to the nether. Uh hopefully we don't die or anything. I'm go oh yeah, you know what? Okay. Spook is gonna stay here because obviously I'm not taking her to the nether. But we are going to bring Dorito with us. Cause she needs to kind of keep me company and I miss her. She's literally just been sitting outside in the freaking snow this entire time. At least she was next to a torch so she, w she wasn't freezing but we're gonna take her with us but before we do we actually need to make her a pet bed. Yeah I always get confused if it's a pet bed or a tiny bed but we're gonna have to make her a pet bed so I know we're gonna need a bone and a we need Okay, I'm gonna use- let's use the red. Yeah, Dorito- Dorito probably likes red. So, let's make pet bed. Yes, okay, cool. So now, um, mm, should we put her- yeah, okay. I think we should set her spawn point in the actual nether. If that's even possible, I'm not sure, but we're gonna try. So, Let's, uh, let's try it out, because I don't, mm, I don't know the logistics of that, if it's going to mess anything up, but I think it'll be, I think it'll be fine, yeah, but anyway, kind of nervous, as always, I, I want to make the nether into a safe place. 
place. But, oh my gosh, wait, I totally forgot. You know what I should have brought? I should have brought the, um, the magma pet because the magma cube pet gives us fire resistance and lets us walk on lava. And I'm definitely going to take it when we go netherite mining, but I might as well just take it with me now just in case we have any accidents with any potential um, gas or lava incidents. It's always a possibility. So you know what? I'm just going to go over and grab my little my little guy. I was- oh, we have two of them. Okay, so we're going to take- we're just obviously going to take one, but I was thinking. I was thinking on- if I should have like um right now I'm I'm using my broom satchel to place my witchery stuff because right now I need to just move it over to my my twilight tree house. They're not supposed to be in the room. So we're going to move them once we go back to the tree house. But I was thinking on whether or not I should just use my satchel to store inventory pets and then we can like take the most important ones with us at all times and switch them out and I think that'd be kind of cute so I've been wanting I've been wanting to do that oh wait wait we have to make sure oh oh no oh no stay back oh no <gasps> Dorito 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 wait okay okay she's running away wait hold on I <laughs> messed up the flower Dorito wait can you not okay stay where is she Where'd she go? Okay, that was weird. Wait, where's my- How did I get there? How did I- What? Okay, anyway. So, that was a little bit dangerous. I don't like that they just go crazy in attack mode. It's really dangerous. So let's try to push her through the portal. I need you to go into the portal, so come here. Come here. Come here! Come- Yes, okay. And I think I need a slab. I think I need to push her with the slab. God damn it. Uh, let me... Hmm. I'll make one out of warped. Okay. Hopefully this works. Get in there. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Let me break this. Okay. Now we can go through. I'm gonna place some slabs here. Because why not? And you know what? Might as well just- whatever, we'll just put them there. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we are, back in our little- Well, to be fair, this in itself is kind of like a crystal cave. <laughs> just kind of ironic, because we just built one. Okay, so I'm thinking about how- Hold on, actually hold that thought. First, we gotta make sure that Dorito is sleeping and doesn't die. Okay, she, she'll, be, she'll be fine now. So we're gonna just leave that there for now. So I'm thinking about the logistics of actually living in this little, like, hole. Because, <laughs> oh, not the quartz. It's so red. Look at that. I didn't even recognize what I was holding. Um, okay, because we have to, like, cross all the way up here, right? So, oh my god, this is actually really... Wow, this is a really inconvenient place to live. Also, why are there, like, glimmers? Do you see that? Like, sparklies. What is that? Okay, that's weird. Anyway. So we're gonna have to either make a very big staircase. I don't know if we can move the portal, right? Like, cause even if we like change the position of the portal within the nether, I don't know if it's exactly going to, if it's going to connect to the same one in the overworld. Should we try it? Like, if I bring extra obsidian, at least, and try to move it, like, up there, and then see if it still connects to the same portal on the overworld, I think we should try that, because I like that this place is safe, but it's so... It's just quite inconvenient, unless, like, we can make some sort of, like, pathway up here. I don't know. I don't think I really want... Like, honestly, I'm not very happy with this spawn. I kind of I kind of want to move it up there, so we might as well just try it, because we do have extra obsidian. I know that for sure. So I'm gonna try to make another portal. I don't I don't know, guys. I'm very bad when it comes to like portals, because it's complicated for me. Like the uh, the distance stuff. The eight blocks in the Nether is one. Wait. Eight? No. 
Eight blocks in the overworld is one block in the nether? No, 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 it's the other way around. Eight blocks in the overworld is one block in the nether, right? I think I'm, I'm just psyching myself right now. Like, what am I even talking about? I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. Um, so, let's grab our obsidian. And we need a lighter. I think we have a- we have a- no, we don't. Um, what the hell? I thought we had one. Perhaps in here? No. Okay. Guess we'll have to make a new one. Fine. Our freaking inventory is so full again. I need to put this wool away. And... I need to take the nether quartz because we need to use that to feed our... Our magma cute pet. Okay, so we're gonna make a flint and steel, and we're gonna see if this works. I really hope it does, because I don't want to live in that hole, okay? <laughs> I, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world. Maybe I'll try making a staircase if necessary, but it would be better if we just didn't need to do that. So... Okay. So, let's go over to that place again. I'm not gonna go too far away, because I think if I do... That will definitely trigger a different portal to be built in the overworld. We don't want that. We just want we just want it to connect to the same one. Except this freaking succubus has other plans for us. Can you stop? Okay, I don't know where he went. Whatever. If he can if he can't get to me, I don't really care. Okay, so we're gonna go go, go up here. Ugh. Oh my god, there's so many. I need to light this place up. That's probably the issue. Ah! Die! Oh my gosh, please! Wait, stop. Do I have my arrows? Or am I out? I might be out of arrows. I think I am. Oh, he's dead. Let me grab my quiver. Ah! Oh my god, these stupid freaking cows snuck up on me. Die! Okay. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Okay. We're good, we're good. Uh, place some torches down for frick's sake. Okay. Actually, we should be placing mage lights. So. There's another one. Can you not? Okay, they get two shot at least. So, we have like- Oh my god, please! I really gotta light this place up. I hear another cow. I hear one. Oh, there you are. Okay. So, uh, I think we can build it like- yeah, like, this area is not too bad. Oh my god, leave me alone! <sighs> hate those things! Okay, you know what? I'm grabbing my mage lights. Actually, I want to switch the color. Uh, what? Nope, wrong page. What color should we use? Maybe... Probably red. Red would make sense because we're in the nether. Yes. That's cute. It's it's actually quite fitting with the uh, the little quartz. The uh, red red crystals here, so yeah, we we really gotta light this place up. So I'm just gonna place some mage lights. Very nice, very pretty actually. I, oh my god, I love them. So let uh, God damn it, get away, get away. Wait, why is it doing no damage? Help! I still have arrows. I don't know what's going on. It's like my bow isn't doing that much. Anyway. So let's make the portal like here. Let's do it here. Okay, here we go, guys. This is gonna be our new portal, hopefully. I really hope it works. Okay, there's another freaking thing coming. Do you ever stop? Or are you just gonna torment me for the rest of my life here? This is why I hate the nether. It's because of you. God. Okay, let's we'll slide it up. Slide it up and hopefully, that's not what I wanted, hopefully <laughs> this works. Okay, let's see where this takes us. Please be the same portal, please. Okay, what? <laughs> this is not what I <laughs> expected. Uh, I'm in a cave. What the hell? Where, where even, what? What is this place? We are like, Close to deep slate here. Whoa. There's emeralds up there. Oh my god, I almost fell. Uh, I thought I almost fell. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't, I don't like this place and there's so many fairies. Oh god. Okay. 
Yeah, this is this is not what I was hoping for at all. They're coming. Oh god, they're coming. We gotta leave. That was an epic fail. Okay guys, sorry for the change in lighting. The sun is setting actually, so I just closed the blinds and decided to go with the cozy warm lighting, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I honestly kind of prefer the the slightly darker lighting. I feel like it's a little bit less bright, which might be good for these videos. But anyway, you guys let me know what you prefer, if you actually prefer the darker, like, cozy light lighting or the day lighting. So anyway, okay, that <laughs> that did not work. Damn it. Uh, what do I do? I guess we just have to make, like, a little, a little staircase. Man. This kind of sucks. I always get such horrible <laughs> spawns in the nether. Like, this happens all the time. Even in my favorite Minecraft world, my vanilla one that I always talk about, even that one has a horrible nether spawn. It's in the freaking um, Soul Sand Valley, which I don't think anyone likes that place. It's so annoying. And there's skeletons that spawn. It's just, ugh, it's quite a nightmare. Okay, so why are you floating? Get on your bed. Just take a little nap. There you go. Okay, so what we're gonna try just kind of mine up here and see if this leads up there. Um, yeah, this is not ideal. I really wanted it to just be up there. Man. Okay, well, let's try. Let's see where this leads us. Okay, there's something over here. Whoa. Okay, what? Where am I even going? Okay, I just checked in spectator mode. I think I actually need to go a little bit more diagonal like this way, which is gonna make things even more complicated and oh my gosh, this place is like way deeper in the ground than I expected, than, than I thought it was. Like, oh my god, this is gonna be a really long staircase up. But I, I do want to just make a really streamlined way of getting up there. So hopefully we can make this work. I'm just gonna carve it out really roughly and then we're gonna probably just have to turn it into kind of like a cave looking thing. Like a cave tunnel with slabs so it's like easier to walk through. Okay, so this is kind of the issue. So we're here. We have to- I'm trying to dig diagonally but I completely missed it. Like we need to go way more like vertical, you know? So <laughs> now there's just lava flow. Oh god. Um, so <laughs> wait, this is bad. I actually have to get rid of the lava, but um, I know I'm going to spectator mode. This a little bit cheaty, but honestly, I don't really care, guys. Like, <laughs> um, This world is not like super hardcore, 100%, no cheating. I just kind of play how I want, so I hope you guys don't mind. Okay. Oh, this is kind of bad. This is kind of bad. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. That was almost a disaster. Um, we're gonna cover this up. Okay, so my next idea is to make a bubble elevator. I still need to make the one in our treehouse. But maybe I'll just do it now because we have to make one in our nether. I think this is kind of the only... This is kind of the only other idea I have. So... <laughs> um... Let me see. I'm gonna actually just go back into spectator. So we kind of need a- oh god, this is really just horrible. Horribly annoying. So we have to- okay, I think what we can do... We can make like a, a tunnel that leads to roughly this area. And uh, I'm gonna mark it on my waypoints. Uh, so this is probably where we're gonna put the elevator. And then we're just gonna have to make like a little tunnel from the portal that leads to that place. So, god, this is really a lot harder than I expected it to be. Like, bro, if only that portal actually connected, but oh well. So, okay, we are... are we over the elevator area? Let's see, where did I mark the waypoint? Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Wait, um... Where's my tunnel? Okay, we're actually- okay. This is where- I'm trying to figure out where I need to put the elevator. So not- not there. Oh my god! Oh, whoa! Hi! 
Hello, where did you come from? What can you offer me, sir? Actually, this guy will be really useful because when we get the debris, uh, we can get extra? We can get extra scrap. Um, what else? Unbreaking four, fire protection. Okay. That's weird. Emerald for nether wart. We can trade- oh, you know what, actually, here, you can take some of my extra, um, let me give this guy my extra netherrack. Thank you! Oh my gosh. That's very nice that he came over here, I, I guess he just kind of spawned. So, we're gonna have to build it right here. That's where our bubble elevator will go up to. <sighs> so now I have to make it- oh god. Guys, Honestly, I don't really want to bore you with this part of the build, so I'm going to get this out of the way, and I'll be back. Guys. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Oh my god, how did I not connect the dots in my head that we can't do a freaking elevator? Oh my god, this is a nightmare! What do I do? <laughs> is there like... There's no elevator, of course. What can I do? Vines? Would I have to put like these? Twisting vines? <sighs> I guess. I guess we'll do that. We'll just have to make a vine thing. Okay, so... Um... I did not even consider that we would not be able to make a bubble elevator until literally right this second. <laughs> well, in this case, let's at least- we can dig out the tunnel a little bit. So we have a little bit of walk-in room. And of course, put some mage lights in here. So this- you know, this will be kind of fun because we can at least have like- we can make this into like a little cute cave system. like. We can put some warped blocks and it'll be all nice, I think. So, I guess it's not, like, the end of the world, but I'm still kind of annoyed <laughs> that we have to do this really, like, complicated contraption just to... just to get out of this hole that we are spawned in, which is so annoying. Oh my god, it's like the Minecraft hates me sometimes. So, anyway, um... Let's go out from the long way. What we're gonna do is I want to get some- well, I'm gonna need to get some uh, warped vines. So let's go on our broom. Oh crap, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Let's put- there we go. And we're just gonna try to find a warp forest. Uh, okay, this way. Look at us, we're so cute with our little cat ears. In our, in our spell book. This is so cute. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys cannot get me now because I am better than you. <laughs> okay, so we did find that bastion super close, which is so, like, interesting. Like, I wasn't expecting us to find a bastion this close to our base. Um, but let's see. Okay, so we have a crimson forest over here, which means crimson usually spawns next to warped, right? So let's go try to f oh yeah here we go oh how convenient we're actually really close to both both things which is really good what is this is this flesh guys I think I want to uninstall Bumps of Bloody <laughs> what the hell what is this why <sighs> okay this. I I actually kind of like genuinely like am cringing. Ugh, okay, I'm really squeamish, guys. I'm not even joking. That really grosses me out. So I'm just gonna go away. This is another bastion. That's crazy. Is it? Is it actually that? Yeah, that's another bastion. That is so. How are we? This close to two bastions. Okay, well, in this case, I kind of want to loot the chest. So let me get off my broom and we're gonna try to sneak in there. 
steal their stuff. <laughs> okay, a uh, little secret mission. <laughs> Where are the chests? Ah, here's one. Let's go over. Right on top, they'll never see me coming. Oh crap, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. Let me go, I think I need to go one lower. Eh. What did we get? Okay, soul speed three. Some arrows. Bone blocks, and actually, I need these arrows. Uh, let me, uh... I don't need all this. Oh no, I dropped my glowstone! Oh well. I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'll take the spectrum arrows, why not? So where's the other one? Oh, the big one! Let's get the big one! Is there another one over there? Oh, yeah, there is one over there. Okay, I really... <laughs> I'm so curious. Ah, uh, damn it, I was expecting us to get, like, ancient debris or something. Okay, but we did get some magma cream, golden carrots, gold blocks. Okay, I'm not gonna take all of this, just- oh, hi. Okay, um, you know what, let's focus. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. I- where's my quartz? Need to feed our hungry little magma cube pet. So, um, let's- yeah, we're gonna need to get back on our broom. Flat on over there. Alright, so I'm gonna have to grab some of these twisting vines. I don't know if you need to use shears or not, but I guess we will find out. Uh, looks like we don't. Oh! Wait, is it a chance that they drop? I'm, I'm confused. Hold on, let me just grab my shears. We. Oh, yay! I think we do need to use shears. Like that. What about this? Okay, that definitely doesn't- I don't think that gives us all of them. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna climb up. We're just gonna break it from the top down. Oh crap! Guess my shears broke first. Okay, let me make some new ones. Oh my god! Where'd you come from? Jesus. It scared me. Okay, let's break these vines. What is that? Oh- Oh my god, is that a, another fortress? <gasps> oh! oh my god, hi! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Broom, broom, broom. Okay. Broom, broom, broom. <laughs> wait! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, I hate getting chased. That was really scary. Oh my gosh, is this another fortress? Oh, I'm throwing freaking things by accident. What? What is going on? Where's the nether fortress? Uh... I guess there isn't one? What is this thing? Why is there just like a thing? What is that? Skull? Hello? Oh my god, what- what is that? Why are you so fast? He's dead. What is going on in there? This is definitely not... That's definitely not a uh, fortress. I'm scared. <laughs> what are you? Get away! Is this like a spawner? Let me see what's in there. I'm trying not to get myself killed, but I'm really curious. What is this? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get off. Oh, this is an inventory pets thing. We got a cow pet. Okay, that's so bizarre. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! Netherite! Guys! Freaking epic! Are you serious? This is so OP! Well, thank you, inventory pets. You just saved me a load of trouble. Okay. I will gladly take that uh, netherite off your hands. And actually, I'm gonna take the blaze powder too, because that's a pretty good plus. So, we just got a netherite ingot, and I think we only need one? If I'm not- if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mahogany. So we don't even need to go netherite mining anymore! Oh, thank goodness! Okay, guys. Cancelled the netherite pl plants. I do not need to do that anymore, and I'm very glad. I didn't. 
mm, I don't like doing that at all. I mean, it's kind of easy when we have like our magma cube pet and our sleeping bags and like all the little cheats I have basically, but I still don't want to do it. But we will build another base since I did kind of commit to that. So let's go do that. Uh, wait, do I even have enough twisting vines? I don't think I do. I think I need more. And actually, while I'm here, I'm probably just gonna have to grab some, some nether, what's this called? Nether wort block. That's what I was thinking of, not the nylium. I think nylium is the grass, which I'm not actually sure if I can get those unless I'm using like silk touch or something. So I'm just gonna, <clears throat> okay, I'm really scared. I just want some freaking things. Just want some twisting vines. Too much to ask for, oh my god. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so wobbly on this broom. Okay, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, we can actually go and make our freaking broom. I think, I think we have everything else, right? Um, we need mahogany, wheat. Yeah, we're good. I even think I have three bottles of blood. So yeah, we actually have everything we need now. Which is awesome! Okay, I swear these stupid things are always here. I don't need- I don't even- Ooh! Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. Um, how many do I have? 48? Okay, let me get a few more. I'm gonna meet you guys back at the elevator. Alright guys, I'm back. Flew all the way home. So, uh, let me not lose my broom. <laughs> okay. Uh, I really gotta make sure that I don't, like, drop that and then leave it somewhere, because that would be disastrous. Anyway, let me actually make myself a little chest, so we can put away some of this stuff, because, oh my gosh, it's so... My inventory is going crazy. Alright, so. First things first, I'm gonna put down these vines. So we at least have an easy way in and out of here. Hello, Goblin Trader! He's still here! And hopefully he stays, because I kind of like his company. So yeah, we're just going to go all the way up. And um, again, I'll skip this part for you guys. Alright. Where are we? Aha! Right, exactly where I wanted. Alright, so we can probably get rid of this portal, but I'll do that, I'll do that later. Um, oh, and we can just slide all the way down! Whee! This is actually really fun. Okay, awesome. If only we can do the same thing going up. I don't know if that if that's possible or not but all right i'm really excited and then we can decorate this little tunnel and okay this is much more streamlined than before and i guess this entire hole is kind of like our base um but i do want to build my little thingy around actually guys you know i think i'm gonna do something a little bit different than my than my original plan but it's still gonna involve the build that I was doing, or that I was thinking of. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not safe. Where did you come from? Did he just spawn because it was dark? Oh my god, he actually gave me a freaking jump scare. Okay, we really gotta light this place up. Oh my god, I keep getting ambushed. We gotta close off this gap. I don't even, I don't even want this to be like opened anymore. This is just terrifying. Okay, hopefully nothing else spawns. God, it's like these stupid things come from every which way. I'm gonna close off this place too. Oh gosh. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make this entire little cave room into, I guess, something really luscious and cute. So I'm not exactly sure what yet, but I'm still going to build my little mossy cottage thingy, but it's actually just gonna enclose the portal. Actually, I built something very similar in my vanilla world, so it's gonna be a little bit based off of that. Um, so. So now I actually need to go collect some materials for it. I'm gonna need to get like blackstone or basalt or something like that, and then also some more of the warped wart blocks so i'm gonna go grab those really quick and then i'll meet you guys back when i'm actually ready to build okay so there's a chest here that i want to grab I'm just trying not to get myself killed in the process i don't know if did i grab that one yet uh let's Let's see. 
I'm trying to place a block right there. Okay. Oh, ancient debris. Nice. Well, we don't need that anymore, but I'm still pretty glad to see it. Ooh, fortune two axe. I mean, of course I'm going to grab the ancient debris anyway. So I got a bunch of um, black stone from the, ba uh, from the bastion. So we're going to use that to actually build our little thing. Oh, crap. Okay. Don't want to do that. Let's grab it. Eh! Okay, I need to go one lower. Damn it. Okay. Ooh, another ancient debris. Some magma cream. I love that we're getting arrows because I really do need them. And soul speed one. Okay, cool. I'll grab the iron and the gold. We do need both of that. Okay, awesome. So, oh, is that another one? Ooh, there's a lot of chests in this one. Actually, I think I was already there. Oh, this is the other chest that I saw earlier. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm back at the portal. Now let's get to building. I'm going to enclose the portal. I have like a little reference here. So if I'm looking to the side, that's why. Um, and we're just gonna kind of go around the entire thing like this. And I think I'm going to make it a little bit taller. Let's make a little rim around this too. I think I'm going to use the basalt for the rim. Something like this perhaps. I might have to fix this later. I'm not sure what this is going to look like. Okay, that's a start. Unfortunately, there's no stairs for basalt, which is kind of insane because I would kind of expect cork to at least do that. So what can we use? Um, I feel like the black stone is going to be too dark. Probably deep slate. I think we're going to have to use deep slate. Of course, I don't have any, so I'm going to go grab- I'm going to go grab some really quick. Alright, so I made some- deep slate tile stairs. I'm trying to put them like that. Maybe... It doesn't match all the way, but I guess it's close enough. I'm also gonna try to add some slabs. It's looking very dark and spooky, but I really like the black. I think that looks really cool. Okay, so we're gonna actually get rid of this little top layer. And up here, we're going to add the warped stuff. So, let me go grab this. And we're going to put it like this. And then we're going to add some slabs up here. Alright. Oh my god, why? How did you get in here? Did you seriously follow me down the hole or something? Wait, what the heck? <sighs> anyway, crazy freaking things. Let's finish this up. So I think this should be- Oh, I fell. That should be good. I mean- Oh, that's oh, just quartz. <laughs> I thought that was another one. Um. Okay, this definitely needs some, like, decorations. So let me see, what did I grab here? We got some mushrooms and maybe even the twisting vines. I think we could probably use those. Okay, let's see if we can place this all on the top here. Oh, what? You can't. You can't place the warped roots. Or the more fungus, damn it. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess we'll place some some <laughs> some vines. It'll look like it has little hair on it, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay. Um let's see how this looks. It's kind of silly, but honestly, I kind of like it. It's cute. Okay, so we can't place these. Man, I I wonder if I can grab some Nylium. Hmm. I might have to go and check, because I kind of want that now. Okay, let me go see if I can grab it. Okay, so that doesn't give us it, but what if we use the break spell? Oh! 
that works. Okay, well, this will definitely be a very slow and tedious way of collecting it. Does it- can you bone meal it, I wonder? I'm gonna just grab some. What is- Oh! Oh, let me not be under- Ugh. Ew. Gross. Jeez. So I'm gonna grab- I'm gonna grab some of this and I'm gonna see if, um, maybe can we bone meal it and then it'll spread? I don't really know. Okay, so I actually put on my witch's hat, which the mana regen was very helpful, but let's see how this works. So what I'm gonna do is, hold on, first, do I actually have any gun- or not gunpowder, bone meal. Let me see if we can actually, like, bone meal this. Okay, no, not exactly what I thought. Ah, uh, because I kind of want to replace the netherrack with an- uh, <laughs> with an ilium. So I guess we'll have to do that, um, but what I will do is I'm going to replace this stuff, because I kind of prefer- Oh my god, I keep falling. I kind of prefer the nylium because we can actually use, like, the little, like, blocks on it. The, uh, the mushrooms and the- What's the roots? Yeah, so I kind of want that. So I'm just gonna replace this part. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll replace all of it. Yeah. And now, oh, cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna bone meal this. Why not? And I will place my little funguses. Cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I- I think this is a lot better. Oh wait, that's gonna- oh god, wait, hold on. Let me grab that. I'm just gonna put- Yeah, we're gonna have to put netherrack there, because it's gonna turn into netherrack anyway. At least I think it will. So let's replace this part too. Of course, I'm one freaking block short. Damn it! How? How am I short on one netherrack? Okay, there we go with my awesome parkour skills. We were able to finish that. So, let's see how this looks. Cute. I like that a lot better. <laughs> oh, here comes another freaking set. Yeah, so they are coming through the hole. I'm gonna have to patch that. So we can stop getting freaking bombarded. I keep missing. Okay, there we go. So this is our little nether base so far, guys. What do you think? So what I wanted to do was um, replace some of this with the Nylium so that it'll start looking... We can <laughs> we can fairy core -ify the nether, basically, because um, I think what we can do is just make this place look more natural. Like a little lush nether area. Oh, God! Where did you... Oh, I know where you came from. I need to patch that hole, but I don't want to do it now. Ah, they're so annoying. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, I kind of want to make this place look a little bit more like a luscious little cave, but nether version, like warped nether. Um, we're also going to have to make a place for, uh, for Dorito. But I kind of want to take a break from this, because I don't want the full episode to be just nether stuff. So I'm going to come back here, uh, maybe next episode we can grab some more resources and actually turn this place into a proper little nether fairy core cave, which I think is going to be actually really cool. So let me just put all this stuff away. And now we can actually go and make our mahogany broom. But I kind of, okay, you know what? I don't want to leave Dorito out here alone with these with these succubuses that keep dropping in here. I don't want them to harm her. So I think what we have to do first is just make sure that they can't get in here. So I'm gonna just get rid of the entrance. Oh God, speak of the devil. Okay, um, so, oh my God, Jesus. Ah, cow. Wait, I could actually die. Oh my god, I almost died. That was so bad. I'm just gonna get up on my freaking broom. Screw this. Oh, 
All right, I think this should be the end of that. I don't believe there's any more places for them to enter. So in this case, I'm gonna just use my waypoint, teleport inside. Okay, cool. So I think we should be safe now, hopefully. Uh, I will probably have to put up some mage lights though, because I don't know if they're gonna like start. Don't switch. Don't switch. Stop. Stop. Get away. Stop. I don't want to switch my inventory. Um. How do I make that go away? Okay, anyway. I'm just gonna put some mage lights all the way around so nothing will spawn and hurt our Dorito. Because I don't want her to be in any danger. Okay. Let's put some here too. For a little pizzazz. So cute. Ah, oh, I love the mage lights. The red ones are perfect for the nether. So yeah, this is the progress so far, guys. We're gonna have to keep working on this, but let's just save ourselves. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a break from the torturous nether. Worryingly fulfilling. Okay, I'm not eating that. Alright, Dorito, I'll be back for you. Don't worry. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye! Alright, so guys, let's go make our mahogany broom. I hope we can do it. I'm super excited. And then we will be... I don't know, we'll be a mahogany witch or something. So, okay, let me first look up the recipe so I make sure we don't need to grab anything from the overworld. Mahogany broom. Okay, yeah, I think we, we have everything we need for this. So let's go back. Uh, what about the, um, the, what's it called, the brushes? Enhanced? Ooh, this one's interesting. Oh, crap. So what does it do, though? Hi! I don't know what that does. Broom thruster. Interesting. Yeah, so I think I, I want to stick with the wet moon. I mean, yeah, the moon dust one. So what, what day is it? Or what night cycle? Where is the moon? Okay, yeah, definitely not full moon yet. Okay, so we can't make that yet, but we'll just use the default one until there is a full moon. What does this look like? What the heck? That is so weird. Okay, yeah, we gotta put on our witch's hat since we're gonna be doing some witchcraft. And it looks a little weird when it's enchanted, but oh well. Alright, let's go back to the twilight for- Hello, little ant! I actually don't have a name for this guy yet. Um, yeah, I totally forgot we were supposed to name him. I'm gonna go check the comments really quick and I'm gonna see what you guys said. And we'll give him a name. But let me just climb up these vines first. Okay, guys. So I actually saw a really cute name suggestion. And it's a girl name. And it's Amy. Amy the Amethyst Ant. I think that's so cute. Like Amy, Amethyst. It sounds really similar. So we're going to name her Amy. I was calling it a he before. But I, I love that name. Amy is so cute. So this is Amy, our first Amethyst Ant. We're going to have to give her a collar tag. But I don't have any copper on me, so we'll have to do that a bit later. But let's grab our netherite and see if we can make our little potion. So first we're going to need um, a mandrake root, which I don't think we have any. So let me see. Yay. Okay, now we do. Awesome. And we needed, I think, um, let me check, some other herb of some sort. Nope. Okay, we need wheat, which I think we do okay thank goodness uh mahogany where is my mahogany i put it away let me go grab that really quick <clears throat> okay guys i grabbed my mahogany so let's go make this broom oh we need the blood which is in our broom Let's grab that. So we only need two. Alright. And we need water. Which we can grab really quick. Alright, there we go. And that should be everything. Why is this always out of order? What the heck is going on? I think it's like this. Uh. Oh! <gasps> I think it's working! Oh my gosh! Oh, awesome! 
we have our mahogany broom. I wasn't expecting to get this so quickly, but we did because we're freaking awesome. Okay, so now we can move our little things from here. Oh, wait. Uh, do I have to? Okay, I think I need to empty out this thing before I can use it. Uh, let me grab this, take this off. And now we can- ooh, I like the color a lot more, to be honest. I like the little, like, reddish-brown color that we have. We're gonna have to make ourselves a bigger satchel, too. Because there are the large ones. Actually, how do we- Okay, we need leather. I'll, I'll do that another time. So let's put this stuff away. And check it out! We have our mahogany broom- Oh my god, this is so much faster! <gasps> This is awesome! Holy crap, guys! I love this! Okay, you know what we should definitely do? Let's end the episode off with a little adventure, guys. Last episode, I wanted to go adventure a little bit, but Spook kind of interrupted it. So I am going to clear up my inventory a little bit. And let's go ride around in our broom! I'm so excited. Oh, hello, Amy. Oh my gosh, I almost hit you. Okay, so she... You're a little bit derpy, aren't you? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, okay. Let me prepare. I need to empty out my inventory. I'm... Oh god, I'm not ready to do this one yet. It's just... Every episode, it just gets worse and worse. But we are gonna clear out our, um... Our little backpack and everything like that. So let's do that. And then... We are going to just wander a little bit and check out the new biomes and stuff. I haven't done as much exploring as I would want to, as I would have liked to recently because, you know, we've been just so busy with witchcraft ever since the new update. But yeah, I'm really excited and, uh, alright. Let me go meet you guys back when I'm ready. Okay guys, I am ready to go on an adventure. I cleared out my inventory and my mini backpack. So let's go in a bit of a different direction. Where have we not really gone yet? Um, we haven't really gone, like, past the strawberry fields, so I think I'm gonna check that place out. And actually, I want to just quickly stop by the strawberry fields and see if that strawberry cow is still there, because I remember one of you guys leaving me a comment a while ago that said I should build, like, a little strawberry farm with the strawberry cow, too. So I kind of wanted to do that. Um, so I'm gonna check if it's still there. Hopefully it is, because I only remember seeing like one or two cows in the fields. Oh, and I also just got reminded because I saw an anthill. I want to actually- I'm gonna scout out for anthills because I of course want to get some more ant eggs so we can make our ant army. I'm really excited to do that. So, okay, let's go see if there's any cows. I hope they're not all dead or gone. I don't see any. Oh man, Ugh, I think they're gone. I don't know what happened to them, but they probably wandered away by now. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. There's a cow right here. Okay, so I believe this is actually the only cow there is. So I'm gonna trap it on a leash. I'm gonna make a little fence. And we're just gonna have him stick around because I don't want him to like escape or anything. So let's let's put him on a lead. Okay, strawberry cow, I'll be back for you one day. I definitely want to maybe next episode do some cute builds. I really want to get started on a little tea room, like a tea and coffee farm, and maybe we can also do a strawberry farm of some sort. So yeah. I'll definitely- I'll definitely try to do some of that soon because I know this episode we didn't really do that much building except for the nether thing, of course, but I, I do know you guys enjoy the building. There's a little gray cat over here. I thought it was a black one, but it's not. Okay, so we're in new terrain here, which means that it's gonna be loading a little bit slowly. So let's just fly around and see. I might have to let this load for a bit. Yeah, it's definitely being a little bit slow. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh my god, it's a coven! <gasps> Guys! We have a coven so close to our base. 
Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god. So yeah, the chunks are still being a little bit slow. But this is great news! Oh my gosh! So we can totally like take a few things from here and put them in our actual witchy witching area. That's so awesome! I wonder if there's any if there's crows in here. <gasps> there are crows in here. Okay, we definitely have to go back and tame them. I want those crows. So we're gonna have to make some seed mixture. Okay, let's see. Come on, chunks. Load for me, please. Is this an anthill? Oh no, that's a that's a Wilden dungeon. <gasps> oh! Oh look! There's a uh is this Mystics biomes? It looks like it's Mystics. <gasps> it is! Oh my gosh. Awesome! We have another lavender forest over here, which is pretty nice. I like this area so far, even though we can't really see much of it yet. <laughs> oh! Check this out. No way. There's another village over here. Oh, that is awesome! Okay, so we can actually meet some new people here. Guys, I'm still looking for a partner. I keep forgetting that I need to, like, actually, like, start a family. Because <laughs> I did just, like, jump straight into adoption. Oh, she's pretty. Wait, what's your name? Aliska. That's a very cool name. So yeah, I did kind of jump straight into adopting some random kids, but uh, I kind of want to also just like marry someone and like, I guess, I don't know if I want to have, maybe we'll adopt more kids. I don't really know. But yeah, oh, I, I heard a cat. I wonder if it's a black one. <gasps> oh, that one's so cute. But I totally want a black one. I don't want to adopt any other cats. Ooh, hello, sir. All right, we definitely got to find ourselves a nice looking partner. I'm going to take your <laughs> your emeralds. <laughs> We're stealing money. We're little robbers. Okay, so I don't know if there's anyone over here that I'm particularly interested in. But yeah, we'll definitely have to we'll have to find someone, guys. I honestly feel like if Alexander was still alive, I'd probably Ooh, whoa, you're I love your eyes. This guy kind of reminds me of one of my characters. Because <laughs> he has like the bright yellow eyes. Very cool. Yeah, anyway, I was saying, um, I feel like if Alexander was still alive, I probably would have ended up marrying him, maybe? Because he was- he looked really cool, but he died. Which is very unfortunate. So, that's a shame. I guess we'll find someone better. We did adopt his kids, though, which is kind of funny, because um, he freaking left them. Oh, this girl has a flower crown! Wait, I'm actually very curious. I want to see her flower crown. Hold on, let me feed my little pet here. There you go. Luckily, we have some emeralds. Hello! <gasps> oh my gosh! She's so pretty! Guys, I think I think I want to go for this girl. She's so pretty. Her personality is gloomy. Always assuming the worst. But she's not married. Which you know what that means. Perhaps we can risk her up. Okay, so uh, I might have to change my... I don't know what gender I chose actually in MCA. Okay. <laughs> Because I, I usually skip through that really quickly, so I might have to, like, change her stats. Or maybe mine. But I will I will just take her home. <laughs> we'll start with that, and then off camera I'll figure out the uh, compatibility stuff. Because sometimes you got to change things up for these villagers. So, first of all, I want you to stay Marquita. Is that how you pronounce this name? Marquita? I don't know what the, um, this special character, how that is pronounced. But, maybe it's Marquetta. I kind of like Marquita, though. That's a really cool name. Okay, so we are- <laughs> Dude, she's so pretty. She literally looks like she would live in a strawberry field. So that is so cute. Maybe she can be a little farmer and take care of our singular strawberry cow. Maybe she would like to do that. But yeah, I think we will take her home. Um, I did want to go, like, exploring a little bit. I want to at least find one anthill. So I'm gonna, okay, hold on. Actually, it's turning nighttime. I'm gonna put her in a little box just so she doesn't get killed by a zombie or something. And then I'm gonna try to find one anthill. Actually, I'm probably just gonna sleep. 
yeah, let me let me sleep once it's sunset. But yeah, let's go look for an ant hill because I kind of want to find another ant egg. I hope we do. Come on. Where are they? Where are the ant hills? Okay, guys, I just slept. Oh, wait, we got to get back on our broom and let's go find one. So I'm just gonna go in like a straight line because I don't want to lose track of the village. But I think we should be fine. Uh, let's see. I'm not going in a straight line anymore, but I don't see any hills. Mm, no sign of any ant hills. But there's this library structure over here which is from the fair no, the fey wild mod and that reminds me that i still really want to get started on the fey wild mod you guys know that i've been thinking about that for so long now so i don't know what i should do first if i'm gonna do fey wild or building first i'll decide uh next time but yeah I definitely want to do something a little bit more fun next episode for you guys. I know this one was a little bit, you know, just kind of spending some time in Nether, which is always a little bit bleh. Oh my gosh! This is a mystic forest! Oh my gosh, guys, we are next to the most fairy core freaking biomes. This biome is beautiful. I did my, um, one of my creative build videos in this biome, the uh, build an enchanted forest with me video. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. I built in this biome and I made like a little cute fairy village. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I do kind of like the magical forest biome a little bit more though. But this one is a very close contender. Anyway, I'm gonna go just see if I can find a freaking anthill. But it's like these chunks are not making it easy for me. This is what happens when you explore new terrain and I even have a bunch of RAM uh, allocated to my game so I don't know why it's like so slow sometimes. Oh oh I think I found one! Oh okay cool. Uh, on another note I think I totally lost track of that village but I think we can just backtrack from the um, the strawberry fields and go from there but let's go annihilate this anthill. Oh god they're fire ants of course they are. Why can't I ever find the other types of freaking things? Come on, give me egg. Give me egg. Does she not drop one? <gasps> Don't tell me. Where are the eggs? I want an egg. Hello? They didn't drop one. I'm sad now. Well, this sucks. <sighs> what a waste of time. I guess it's not a guaranteed chance. I didn't know that. I thought the queen always dropped an ant egg. Well, in this case, let's get out of here. I'm gonna go try to find that village again, and then I want to take that girl home. Marquita, Marquita, she's so bonita. <laughs> that is so freaking silly. Oh my gosh, but there's a cloud over here, and I want to kind of take what's up here. You know, it's actually kind of worth going back to the end just to grab some more cloud loot, because my god, it's like so OP in there. But anyway, let's see what's in here. Ooh, a spider. I'm gonna grab the gold. What does a spider do? Jump boost while climb, hang on wall, gives you a string. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so there she is. At least that's where I hope she still is. Let's see. Okay, good. Hello, Marquita. I'm here to take you away. We are going to become best of friends and then perhaps even more. If that's okay with you, of course. I would never force her into relationships with me, but... Alright, I'm so excited. She's so pretty! Oh my god, I love her skin so much. Is she jobless? Oh, she's... She's a farmer, guys! What's more perfect than that? I literally was saying, Oh my gosh, we should make her a farmer and have her take care of her shopping. Guys, she literally is a farmer! This is meant to be. This is like fate. Okay, we're gonna take her home. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm in love with Marquita. All right, so I'm gonna take her back to the house. And then we're gonna actually talk with her. I know that I didn't even, like, have a single conversation with her yet, but, you know, I just kind of- it was like love, and for love at first sight. <laughs> oh my gosh. I- I'm so glad that I found this girl. Like, dude, she is so freaking pretty. Um, 
I'm also, okay, I think I can change her trait to be bi, so then I don't have to worry about, like, whatever. So she can just be open to, like, any uh, relationship, which is gonna be perfect. So we are going to become friends. First, we're gonna start a friendship, obviously. We don't want to jump too quickly into things. Hopefully she likes our actual house. I'm excited to see what she thinks, and she's gonna have to meet the kids. I mean, they are grown up, so it doesn't really matter that much. But I hope that they get along, because mm, this is so exciting. Maybe we will have, like, our, our own kids, too. This is literally my first time ever, like, properly delving into, um, into MCA. So I'm really, really excited to actually- oh, where are you going? Okay, fine. We're gonna go into the ditch. I'm gonna dig you out of here. Don't worry. So yeah, I'm really excited to actually, like, start playing around with the villagers and, like, having a family and stuff. I think it's just so- it's cute! Like, it's it's such a cute thing to be able to do in Minecraft. Like, it's so silly, but I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna take her home. Hopefully everything goes well. Come on, Marquita. I'm gonna have to give her some armor so she doesn't die, too, because I'm gonna be so paranoid, guys. I don't want her to die. That would be so bad. She's gonna have to- I- I think we're gonna have to make her house um, because I i mean we can't have her just live with us you know we don't even know each other right now so I think what I'll do is actually this gives me a good idea I think what I can do is um, is next episode when we're gonna make like I'll probably make the little tea and the strawberry fields thing like we're gonna do a little bit of building right so we can also build her a cute little house oh wait wrong thing what, why am I making a chest I'm too distracted I meant to make a boat but yeah I I think we should totally make her little little tiny strawberry pink cottage oh that'd be so cute okay come on get in the boat there you go all right let's go home Ooh, there's an ant hill over here. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's have her stay. Because we don't want her to get bitten by any ants over here. But let's see if we can get an egg. Hello? Oh, 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 this is like a regular ant. Okay, come on. Drop me. Drop me egg. I want egg. Oh, no, I don't think I got one. What? Oh, oh, here, here. There's an egg right here. <gasps> yes! We got an ant egg! Awesome! This is so, so awesome. Why is there water in here? That's kind of weird. Actually, I'm gonna... Can I take this? There we go. And then we can just... Bleh. 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 Okay, there we go. Let's get out! Oh, God. Out of here. Out of here. Okay, there we go. We got an ant egg. So next episode, we can also hatch our next amethyst ant egg. Uh, once we actually make it into an amethyst egg. Oh my god, this is so excited. It's exciting. I'm really excited for next episode now. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me take her home. Oh, there's another strawberry cow over here. Hello! Do you want to join forces with the other one? Come on, let me take you to your to your friend who you apparently lost sight of. Uh, actually, this is good news because that means we can breed them and hopefully make little ca strawberry cow babies. I wonder if we're in spring season right now, because it's kind of... Yeah, it's raining instead of snowing, which is good. Okay, where is that? Where did I put the fence? Huh? Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's tie you up with the other cow. There you go. Alright, you two stay safe until I'm back for you next episode. I'm so excited, guys. Okay, let's go home! So pretty! <laughs> Oh my god, and there she is. Alright guys, we are almost at the village of Asteria. And actually, I think what we should probably do is just let her live in the village for now. Um, so until next time, when we actually make her a little house. Because I want to impress her. I want to be like, hey Marquita, I know you just moved in here to this new village. But I kind of want to give you something better. Because you deserve it, girl. So I'm going to make her her own little strawberry cottage. And hopefully... Ooh, whoa, that is a cool fish. Wait, hold on. I want to take you. Uh, ha Bucket, where's my bucket? Oh, why is it in there? Yeah, awesome. What a cute little fish. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? I want to... I want to impress her and be like, you know, hopefully that kind of wins her over just a little bit, you know, just make her like me a little bit more. So I'm really excited, but for now she can actually, you know, she can live here and, you know, she will mingle with the other villagers, but 
Gotta make sure that she doesn't marry anyone. Which is kind of a risk. That is a risk. Okay, maybe I will have to actually put her in my house. Because, <laughs> um, okay. You know, she'll spend the day talking with the villagers, but I do want to take her um, where she will not be... Oh, hi, Eric! Don't mind me just uh, hanging out with my uh, soon-to-be friend over here. And, uh, yeah, we're not even friends yet, but, you know, we'll, we'll get there. So she, you know, she strolled by the village, she, she met with everyone. Oh, I think that's Grover over there. Hi, Grover. But now she's gonna go over to my house and we're gonna have a little chat, you know, just talk and learn about each other a little bit and I'm excited. Okay, so I think she can probably, hmm, where should she stay? I mean, I can always put her in my bedroom. That will be a safe place. Or she could, actually, she can just stay in the guest rooms, which is where Eric and Grover used to live. So come on, Makita, let's, let's take you to the guest room. This is where you can stay just for now. I know it's actually a lot better than the village, so I think you might like it here a lot better. So, Let's actually talk with her. Hopefully our first interaction is a good one. Um, okay, so she's in a fine mood. Uh, let's talk. Chat? I've been meaning to adopt one of the stray cats around here. <gasps> she's a cat person! Guys. Oh, she's so perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's, um, 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 let's give her a gift. Let's give her an emerald because, you know, she deserves it. So let's give her a little emerald. Oh, wow, I actually needed one of these. It's it's hard work being a farmer, but it pays off. She's telling me about her job. Okay, she's a little offended. Maybe I said the wrong thing. But she's overjoyed. Her mood is overjoyed. I know my webcam is covering it, but it's that she's overjoyed, guys. This is great news. Okay, we're gonna have her we're gonna have her stay here until next episode when we build her house. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Look at us, we're so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so she's so pretty. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this really all over the place episode. I am so excited for next episode. It's gonna be so much fun. I think you guys will really like it. I have some really cool ideas for what we're gonna do, but I hope you guys enjoy this one too. Make sure to leave a like if you wanna see more Fairy Core in the future, and be sure to check out my YouTube memberships if you wanna get access to videos early, a bunch of other perks, ex exclusive posts and polls, custom emojis, exclusive videos, including my new Let's Play that I'm doing for my members, and a bunch of more other stuff. So please go check out my memberships if you're interested in supporting my channel. And with that being said, guys, I do hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Thank you to all of my YouTube members for supporting my content and especially Katiana, Clara, and Cheyenne for becoming star members.